Hey folks, it's Greg. You're watching Greg's Country Cabin Outdoors. Hope you're having a great day. So I'm going to start this build on this ice shack slash floating dock for my cabin. I've got the lumber laid out. Uh, I've got some five quarter board here that's 12 foot long and I've got a few over here that are five and eight foot long and then I've got my two by fours so <clears throat> I'm gonna get started on this thing and uh, we'll just see what happens okay I've got 12 of these styrofoam blocks out here I've got a total of 24 so there's another dozen inside I'll bring them out later but <clears throat> I'm going to use these as spacers so that when I put my 2x4s together for my frame, they're the right distance apart and these will fit in there nice and snug. Also, I want to show you that I have Okay, I'm going to fill you in on what took place. I've got five of these styrofoam blocks in here. And they're between this second stud and the end stud, okay? And they're spacing it out. And I'm going to use six more lined up on either end to space my two by fours out, with the exception of the second to the last one. The second to the last one, I will have this in there. And this is my catch cover okay I ordered this from Amazon it is www.catchcover.com I don't know if you can see that or not I will put that in the description below so that you can order your own it's made in America it was $18 plus shipping. Shipping was a little over $8, so around $9. Anyway, uh, yeah, you're looking at $27 by the time you get it shipped. And it just snaps. It's sturdy enough to walk on. I've stood on it. It will not break. And it's guaranteed for life. Check it out. So anyway, this catch cover is 12 and a quarter inches on the outside. And 12 inches on the inside so I've got to have a little more than 12 inches between my uh, studs to get this mounted in there with those blocks those blocks are 12 inches so I'm going to use those as spacers till I get to the second to the last one and then I'll use them as a spacer for the last one and then my catch cover will go into the second to the last space <coughs> You may notice some of these already or still have plastic on them. Some of these blocks still have plastic on them because why take it off? It's not hurting anything. It'll eventually deteriorate, but so will the styrofoam. Maybe 
Just maybe it'll make it last longer. Okay, so I've got my 2x4s in place and the styrofoam blocks will go in just like this. They're supposed to be snug fitting and I can screw them into place if I have to. And then this one won't fit because this is in the way but when I get that cut in it will fit perfectly right in that spot and this will be my access for ice fishing and my shack will be right here and then I'll have a dock area over here that I can sit on outside that shack mosquitoes are out already so now, what I've got to do is fasten my flooring boards to it, and uh, so once I get that done, then I can cut this hole to put this in and mount it where it goes. Well, folks, it's 7.30 and it's already dark outside, as you can see in the window behind me. Um, I was hoping to get a lot more of that deck put together. I got all the styrofoam blocks out, got them in place where I want them. And uh, so tomorrow, weather permitting, I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of the deck boards on and cut my catch cover in and have it ready. I'm still waiting on my blind, but um, I'm not too concerned about that. I want to get the raft floating. And well, it's Saturday morning. Um, we had a pretty good rain shower earlier this morning, and I checked the radar. It looks like it's going to be clearing up for the day. Um, there's rain coming in later on this evening, so I'm going to get working on this deck. I've already had my breakfast, my favorite camp breakfast, uh, seven strips of, strips of bacon, a couple of eggs over easy, fried potatoes and onions all fried up in the same bacon grease. Mighty tasty. <laughs> um, I had picked up a bunch of those styrofoam blocks that I'm using for a friend of mine out here at the cabin. And I gave them to him, told him that I might need some later on. And he said, not a problem. Well, I've decided to go ahead and fill in the empty spaces with the exception of one where my catch cover goes in. So I will have a total of 34 of those styrofoam blocks underneath this thing. So I'm gonna stop by his place, pick up 10 more of those blocks and head on out to my cabin and get started on this project. Okay, so this is what's left of one pallet. Um, I actually got the guy two pallet or three pallets full of these things so he knows darn good and well he's not going to use all of them and uh, I did send him a private message and ask him if I could have ten of them and he said yes that's not a problem I can have as many as I want well I only want ten I don't want to store these things um, he's got a friend out here that uh, hunts with him and his friend asked if he could have some, so he gave him some, and that's fine. They're his to give away, uh, or use, or do whatever he wants with. So I'm going to get ten of these, load them up in my truck, and head on down to my cabin. Well, it's another day. We're going to try this again.
first thing I need to do is get these blocks out of the way so they can get that board down on the frame. <coughs> Because what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fasten that board temporarily in place <coughs> so that <coughs> I've got it supported at the height of the blocks and the rest of the decking can go right over the top starting at that side and work my way this way. <coughs> Had to go to the local lumber yard and get some more screws. I didn't have enough deck screws to do the job I wanted. These styrofoam blocks came from the hardware store in my hometown. They get trailers in and uh, they get them in by the truckload. And these styrofoam blocks are between the trailers. And they just throw them away, or give them away in this case. So I latched on to them because of this project right here. But I didn't get them all. They had another truckload came in. They had another pallet and a half sitting there a couple weeks later. Somebody else got those. Okay. So. I've got it filled in with all these styrofoam blocks and there's a total of 34 in there because I'm going to leave that one space right there open for my catch cover and I'm going to start putting flooring on there's star I started the flooring last night it started getting too dark so I had to quit so I'm going to continue with the flooring and uh, See if I can figure out a way to get it down onto the lake. You might be wondering why I'm using 2x4s for floor joists. Those aren't really floor joists. They're just framing to hold this thing together. I'm actually walking on the decking and those styrofoam blocks. They're going to provide the flotation. They're going to provide all of the support. So the floor joists or the 2x4s are just to hold this thing together. In case you folks are wondering, yes, these deck boards are used. They were given to me by a neighbor who tore out his deck so that he could put in a swimming pool and build a bigger deck. Um, the price was right, so uh, 
I've been saving them for several years. They're still in great shape. So, you know, why, why throw it away if you can use it? Um, I know another YouTuber that is a carpenter that salvages wood all the time for some of his projects. And uh, for his sake, I won't name him. But anyway, that's what I'm doing. Repurposing. Okay, my decking is all in. I'm ready to install my catch cover. So I've got it set up right there where it goes. And um, I've got to get my magic marker. I went up to get it and I didn't come back with it. So hang on. Okay, I'm back. So what I did, I measured off of that side four feet to the center. And I can see the two by fours below me. And I was able to mark where I wanted it, where I want this to go in. So what I'm gonna do is trace around the outside of this catch cover with my magic marker. Already got ants crawling on me. Okay. There's where my catch cover goes in, right there. Okay. I can see the floor joist. <laughs> Slide that right in there. Yes, I can. Perfect. It don't get any better than that. Life is good. Yes, you can stand on it. It's tough. And it's guaranteed for life. Okay, this is where I built my platform. Flipped it over, fastened the styrofoam blocks in place, and slid it down this hill. And you can see where the weeds are knocked down where it slid into the lake. So I had my neighbor come over. Help me turn it back upright. So now it's sitting on nothing but styrofoam blocks out there on the lake. And I want to show you this is sitting on barrels, this particular dock that I'm on right now. Okay? This is sitting on styrofoam blocks, and you saw how full it was. This thing doesn't go down hardly at all. It is not tippy I mean it is absolutely perfect for what I wanted so all I gotta do is take it out over there on the other side of those trees and anchor it where I'm gonna keep it I've got my fish cover catch cover and uh, life is good looks like I ripped the handle off in the process of sliding it down the hill so I gotta fix that Okay, well, thanks for watching. This is Greg.
Greg's Central Cabin Outdoors. Hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the uh, five-sided hunting blind if it comes in. It's shipped from China and I'm having, I'm having problems with the trackers. So we'll see what happens. Thanks.